Hey guys, MTAS here, and uh, I wanted to make a quick video because the sandbox in Destiny is going to start changing very soon here. On January 29th, it looks like there's going to be uh, a, 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 what's it called? A patch? Jeez, I couldn't think of the word. There's going to be a patch, and uh, there's actually quite a bit of information now that we've seen the past couple of weeks in the weekly update. So, Last week was all about the supers. Their damage increases on Golden Gun, Shadow Shot, Arc Staff, Burning Maul, Hammer of Salt, Fist of Havoc, Sentinel Shield, Nova Bomb, Daybreak, and then small damage decreases on Blade Barrage and Nova Warp. Now, I don't want to go through this whole thing and, and waste a ton of your time, but I do want to, want to talk about it. Golden Gun with the six shooter kills return a bullet. This could be pretty interesting. Uh, in some situations, this might allow you to get more multi-kills, uh, especially if you have people spawning in and things like that. I actually kind of like that. I think that could be really cool. If you push up aggressively with this, you might have some awesome opportunities to get multi-kills with the Golden Gun. Um, but Blade Barrage... So the damage is now heavily weighted on the delayed explosion instead of the knife impact. What I think this is going to do is 1v1 against other supers... Uh, instead of just getting shit on by Blade Barrage and you're out of your super, you might at least be able to close the gap and kill them, and they'll kill you. You know, you'll, you'll kind of trade. It's tough to say, but I'm hoping that if you're dodging and moving on something like a Blade Dancer and they go to hit you, maybe you get away from that damage that was, you know, delayed and an explosion behind you. Maybe you get away and survive. So that could be a, a thing. Night Stalker is getting some buffs to the Mobius Quiver, but the Spectral Blades has a couple little nerfs. Not a big deal. I think Spectral Blades is still pretty good. Arc Strider. Super damage is now, now more heavily weighted towards the Heavy Palm Strike attack. That's more of a PvE thing, but that means that if you're not doing the actual combos with the Arc Strider, your damage is going to go down, so you need to pay attention to that. Okay? No attack damage was reduced, but much of the added damage for the Super went into the Heavy Attack. So just something to think about. Um, Sunbreaker, though, this was the one I was really interested in, is it seems like they're drastically buffing sunspots. So they're doubling the damage of the burn on enemies. The buff length, uh, the buff length increases from three to five seconds, and now it increases all outgoing damage. So grenades, other hammer throws, switching to your weapons after the fact, that seems pretty good. The burning mall is also getting a slam radius increase and a, uh, fire tornado is uh, is getting improved homing which is awesome sentinel nothing really changing here same it's pretty much the same as the arc strider um but the striker titan look at this there are now three tiers of hang time the amount of hang time for each tier has been reworked um each tier of hang time now causes four damaging shocks instead of three and the damage from the hang time bonus has been increased significantly so if, if you're flying up and you're slamming down with your striker titan you're going to be doing more damage. You're getting another extra damage shock on the ground. That's pretty cool. But this is the big one. Trample. The light shoulder attack super cost has been reduced by 85%. What? You're going to be able to shoulder charge the shit out of people. You're going to be able to run around shoulder charging everyone's freaking heads off. Trample can now trigger every five, uh, 0.5 seconds up from every one second. That's pretty cool. I kind of liked it. Now, with the Warlock, Dawnblade is getting a super duration increase. I don't know about that one, Chief. That one seems a little weird. Super duration increase on Dawnblade that already gets additional time when you get kills. It could get a little crazy. Now, the Voidwalker is getting some buffs to the Cataclysm and Vortex, but Nova Warp is getting nerfed. So listen to this. Slower movement while charging. Charge costs more energy. Damage resistance, uh, damage resistance reduced slightly. And the PvP damage is reduced. So what this means is most likely... Well, no, it says right there, actually. Charge Detonation will no longer be able to one-shot other players in their super. As long as they have damage resistance. So you're not going to be able to 1v1 supers as easily. It's going to cost way more to blow your load on a bunch of enemies and miss. You're going to be slower, so it's easier to escape. This is going to be a huge nerf to Nova Warp. Like an overall just huge nerf to it. I think it's granted because Nova Warp has been pretty crazy for a while. 
Uh, and then Stormcaller. Increases the number of targets by ch uh, of Chain Lightning by one. That's pretty cool. Storm Trance is now going to have uh, a lot more AoE. And if you dive in on a team, you're going to truck multiple players. Now, they're apparently improving matchmaking, right? They're going to try to match things up better based on your rank and things like that. But what I wanted to jump into next is actually some of the gunplay or some of the gun stuff. So this isn't all the updates that we're going to see, but they hinted on a couple of things here. Some, some hot button issues. So auto rifles, the damage increased for rapid fire, adaptive, and high impact families, aka all of them, increased for all of them pretty much. Auto rifles are a little unforgiving uh, at closer ranges, especially when you're dealing with special weapons like shotguns. So they're buffing auto rifles to maybe compete with things like shotguns. If someone's rushing you and you spray them down, hopefully you can kill them. Skill rifles. There's going to be another damage increase for lightweight, uh, lightweight and rapid fire frames, as well as an increase to all scout rifles in PVE. Yes, scout rifles have been so bad for so long, it's going to be nice to have scout rifles hopefully doing some good stuff here in PVE. In PvP, maybe they'll be uh, more useful, but I'm more pumped about the PVE stuff. And then sniper rifles. Increase the damage on rapid fire archetype to be able to kill in two body shots. That is a huge buff. That is an extremely big buff because with the flinch in the game, this allows you to, to you know, double tag someone and still get that kill and not get punished by some guy just wrecking you with a hand cannon across the map. Okay, I really like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I just I'm a big fan of that. Legend of Acrius is getting a uh, a buff, which is pretty cool because it's been kind of lackluster. And then Telesto is getting nerfed finally. Uh, getting nerfed. It's going to match, hopefully, other fusion rifles um, kind of in the same base type, if you will. Um, it's, you know, it's just, it's not like, I don't even run into Telesto that much. I just think the fact that the bolts stay around and the range on it is pretty freaking effective, that Telesto was more annoying when used by a bunch of people than it was, like, brokenly op in every situation in something like countdown in competitive telesto is a nightmare to deal with but in other situations like uh you know like clash it's not as bad so i don't cry as much as many people do about telesto but it's nice to nice to see them kind of bring it in line with other stuff and then trace rifles um they're reducing uh some of the damage as well, well, they're increasing the amount of ammo you receive from special ammo boxes, but they're reducing uh, the damage. So essentially, people were were melting a couple people, and then they'd have like no ammo. Um, the thought process now is more ammo, but you're gonna have to land more of your shots to get the kills. So that's fair. And this isn't all of it. So we're seeing a lot of shakeup in the supers. I mean, I don't know how much some of them will affect things, but you know. Big super changes, and some decent changes to the weapon sandbox. You might actually see more people sniping now. You might pe see people holding down lanes with scouts. Um, I know a lot of people love auto rifles. They just kind of suck. So this could really shake things up, and uh, this is a sample of the changes. So who knows? Maybe shotguns change. Maybe hand cannons change. I have no clue. I'm pretty pumped up. I wanted to just kind of go over this very quickly, uh, give my little thoughts, and let you guys know that on the 29th, um, if you guys have been sick of the sandbox, this might be a good time to jump in and try something new. Um, I'm probably going to give it a good go because I think that's when uh, January 29th, I think, is when Last Word comes out. And I really want to try Last Word. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. There's also some other stuff in here. If you didn't read the Bungie Weekly update, just uh, about the ballistic logs and some kind of quality of life stuff. But I'm not going to get into that. I was more interested in the sandbox. That's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>